Good start out of David Graff. He moves over on Silva and Andre down the first straightaway. It looks like Sylvan has to roll the first jump, but he jumps himself back into third place. Great recovery for Silva and Andre. But here comes David Graff leading down the second straightaway with his teammate and countryman, Renaud Blanc, in second. It's going to be Swiss, one and two. Silva and Andre sliding into third. The three of them coming through this third straight, all jumping through and manually and tripling into the last corner. David Graff's got to keep it upright down the last straight, so he has a good lap time for the next round. Here we go, David Graff, Renault Blanc, Sylvain Andre, top, t top three, here we go. Yeah, that's D'Souza going through in that fourth spot. He finished on the podium last year. Carlos Aquendo out in five. Not in the quarterfinals of the Worlds. Right, oh, Graff got a good start. He got a better one than Kimmins, that's for sure. And Kimmins had the squeeze put on him. Now this is going to make it very, very interesting. Kimmins just holding on for that third spot at the moment. That's Renato Resende in there in four. Isaac Kennedy in five. Tori Navrastad settled in two at the minute. And as they move into, oh, Resende's gone. Resende and Kennedy have taken each other out in the turn. There's one spot left and two riders battling for it. So as they head down the final straight, Graf, Navrastad, Kimmon, one, two, and three. Who's going to get the fourth? Resende on into the minute. Kennedy's chasing him down the final straight. Can Resende hold on? Does he know where Kennedy is? It's going to be close to the line. Who's going to get it? Oh, Resende oh, held goodness. on. I don't think Renato Resende realized that he did. Look who's looking at the time. I'll oh, check in his heart rate. And lane number seven on the inside, doing it for Switzerland, David Graf. Got some heat in this one. Oh, so much heat. It might even drive the track out. As it starts to pour rain on the start hill. Yeah, it's definitely coming down heavier now, that's for sure. Here we go. Semi-final number one, the 2019 BMX World Championship. Nick Kimmon from the outside, Yoris Dode in the middle into turn number one. Graf Kimmon going one and two, Dode in there in three, Sakaki Barra's in there in five, Anthony Dean in four, but he made a mistake. Connor Fields in there in six of the reigning Olympic champion, needs to make his move down this straight. Oh, Renault Blanc's gone down in a heap, so it is Graf Kimmon, Dean, Dode, one, two, three, and four, has Sakaki Barra got anything left in the tank? He doesn't look like it. Graf Kimmon, Dode, one, two, and three. Neat Kimmon, Joris Dode, Anthony Dean, Kai White, Twan Van Ghent, Sylvan Andre, and Jeremy Renkerel. Enough horsepower to light up a small Belgian town, and I think this is what they're going to do right now. On the outside, on the 3-1-3, representing the Netherlands, Neat Kimmon. Lane number seven on the 29, Jeremy Renkerel. Lane number six right there next to him on the one plate, the reigning world champion for at least the next two minutes, Sylvan Andre. Lane number five on the 148 for the Netherlands. He has been on fire all day. Twan van Ghent. On the 87 plate, all the Great Britain fans and Peckham BMX Club will be going mad for this guy. Kai White. Next to Kai on the gate, the 44. Checking the time once again. Definitely short time now for Anthony Dean. On the 33, the World Championship Specialist won the title 2011 and 2016. Will he make it three? Yoris Dode. And on the inside, on the seven plate, being consistent all day long. This is it, the big one for David Graff. The Elite Men World Championship Final. Eight fast, fast men. I can't wait to see what happens. This is it, the Elite Men World Championship final is 
is underway. Ren Carell did not get a good start. Looks like Van, uh, Nick Kim is not going to cross from the outside. Twa back into the Netherlands. Leads it through. Oh, Ryder's going down. Anthony Dean has hit the deck. Kai White's in there in five, but Twa back in. Oh, Graf's gone as well. They've all gone down in a huge heap. Van Gent is out there on his own. Kim has worked his way into two. But Swan Van Gent suddenly needs to check if it's his birthday because this is the biggest gift he'll ever get. Swan Van Gent taking the title. Kimmen in two, four seconds behind. Sylvan Andre in David three. David Graff rubbed oh, so hard. David Graff, he must be wondering, what do I have to what do? What does he have to do? He How has, do I make it happen? He's won so many semifinals now, and he's been so close. You can just see the frustration in his walk. The rip in his jersey sums up his day. The poor guy, he, was, he had a shot, Rich. He had a shot. Yeah, the deep breath, the sigh at the finish line. It's devastating to not only win, but he was in a metal position, him and Joris, and ended up going down, and oh, can't help it. Face. Feel heartbroken look. for David. He rode so hard, he put his heart into it. It just, it wasn't his day, it was Tuan's day. That is the disappointment and emotion of a BMX World Championships. Oh my word. Oh dear. That sums up, that sums it up. I almost feel like crying for him, Tori, because you, feel you, know, his emotion. you can see how hard he's worked. You can see how much he's put in. He'd give everything he had. Yeah, give I'm sure every single ounce of his work, his, his effort, everything has gone into this race. You'd have to think, like Alfredo, David's time is coming. He's been knocking on the door, World Cup or World Championship for so long now. His time's coming for a win, you'd have to think. Yeah, and Joris Dorde went down so hard doesn't even get his hands off the first thing oh. That, oh smoked his head into the corner yeah i think he was i think he was out cold when he hit as well just looking at him wow we hope joris is okay as yeah, well yeah we best wishes to joris aggressive racing they're going for that silver medal crazy race neat got put up in the first corner looked to be out of the race and ends up second there's world champion tuan van gent and david graf and he's still got the time to go over and see his friend and go look tough man no matter how hard the elites race on the track they're always friendly and cordial off the track 